Hey, everyone! Welcome back to Happy Hop Channel, the space where we explore mindful living and ways to bring balance to our modern lives. Today, we're diving into a topic that's becoming increasingly essential in our hyperconnected world, digital detox. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by the constant buzz of notifications or found yourself scrolling mindlessly through social media, you're not alone. In this video, I'll be sharing seven practical digital detox techniques to help you reclaim peace and balance in your life. But before we get started, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated. Let's jump into the world of digital detox. Technique 1, Establish Screen-Free Zones. Our first technique is all about creating designated screen-free zones. Designate specific areas in your home, like the bedroom or dining area, where screens are not allowed. This not only promotes better sleep but also encourages more meaningful connections with those around you. Let's reclaim spaces for face-to-face -face interactions and moments of genuine connection. Technique 2, Set Boundaries on Notifications. Next up, let's talk about setting boundaries on notifications. Take control of your device by customizing your notification settings. Consider turning off non-essential notifications during specific times, allowing you to focus on what truly matters without constant interruptions. By curating your digital alerts, you can create a more peaceful and intentional tech experience. Technique 3. Designate Tech-Free Time. Now, let's discuss the importance of tech-free time, Designate specific periods in your day or week where you disconnect from screens entirely. This could be during meals, before bedtime, or even a full day of digital detox on the weekends. Give yourself the gift of uninterrupted moments to recharge and connect with the world around you. Technique 4. Engage in analog hobbies. Our fourth technique involves embracing analog hobbies. Rediscover the joy of activities that don't involve screens, such as reading physical books, drawing, or practicing a musical instrument. Engaging in analog hobbies not only provides a break from technology but also nurtures creativity and mindfulness. Let's bring back the simple pleasures of the analog world and find a sense of balance. Technique 5. Practice Mindful Tech Consumption. Next up, let's talk about mindful tech consumption. Be intentional about the content you consume online. Consider unfollowing accounts that don't contribute positively to your well-being and limit mindless scrolling. Choose quality over quantity, and curate a digital space that aligns with your values. Let's transform our online experience into a source of inspiration and positivity. Technique 6. Digital Decluttering. Our sixth technique is all about digital decluttering. Just as we declutter our physical spaces, it's essential to declutter our digital lives. Delete unused apps, organize your files, and unsubscribe from newsletters that no longer serve you. A tidy digital space promotes a clearer mind. Let's free up space and create a more streamlined and focused digital environment. Technique 7. Implement Tech-Free Rituals. Lastly, let's explore the power of tech-free rituals. Establishing tech-free rituals, such as a morning routine without screens or an evening wind-down without devices, can bookend your day with moments of peace and mindfulness. You can check on my previous video on Morning Root, I have shared the link in description. Let's create intentional rituals that anchor us in the present and foster a sense of calm. And there you have it 7 practical digital detox techniques to help you reclaim peace and balance in our hyperconnected world. If you found these tips helpful, give this video a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from a little digital detox. And, of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts and any digital detox techniques you swear by in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today on Happy Hop Channel. Remember, a digital detox doesn't mean disconnecting entirely. It's about finding a healthier relationship with technology. Until next time, stay mindful and enjoy the peace that comes from a well-balanced digital life. See you in the next video.